application of TV that people love with access to internet with a specific applications. Yeah, our goal is really to leave the user within the environment that they're comfortable with, which is watching TV. If we're all sitting here watching TV, we didn't want to take that away from people and throw up a, a web page on the screen. So we came up with this approach, this TV widget doc, which really gives people the ability to stay within that TV watching experience, but stay connected as well. So as you can see, I've got highlighted in the lower left hand screen here, uh, a, a very simple uh, interactive element that we call a snippet. And this is a snippet that shows you the weather. But because I've linked it to my Yahoo ID and I've, I've customized it previously, I can get access to weather around the world. And here I set the settings to reflect the, we the weather in Beijing. And I can see that the folks watching the Olympics are having some pretty nice weather right now, uh, which is really great. But you know, the internet is a lot more than simply flipping through uh, weather cities around the world. Uh, there's a lot more that the internet has to offer. And some of my favorite services really have a lot of deep functionality. And so what we've done is extend this uh, user interface to include something that we call the sidebar, which is a way for a user to get access to a uh, deep, rich application type functionality. And this is what the sidebar looks like. As you can see, this is full, rich functionality. Flickr is a very popular photo sh sharing service from Yahoo. And uh, I've got it set here to land on my photos. And uh, Eric, what do you think? Would you like to see a couple photos from a, a trip I took to Costa Rica? Yeah, so, so this is actually your, your personal account that you're stepping into. That's right. This is a live feed of my photos feeding from the web right now, all very high definition photos. And uh, you know, I, I can quickly access them. I haven't had to leave the TV that I'm watching, and you and I can quickly access photos without having to put away that experience. We can sort of accompany the TV watching experience with a, a real nice photo viewing application. I can even decide to put the TV away at this point and start a slideshow if I want to, and then take over the whole TV screen with a beautiful photo at very high resolution. Again, all connected and streamed right from the web. That's great. Now, you know, I also like to do some productivity kind of stuff as well, and uh, clearly I have to keep track of my stock, and uh, usually I have to, you know, go to a separate room, turn on a computer. Can I do that uh, while watching TV? Absolutely. Uh, right now I've got a, another snippet selected based on the Yahoo, very, very popular Yahoo Finance application online, and again, because I've established a portfolio online uh, and connected it up to this experience, I can quickly get a, a way to scroll through all my stocks and take a look at what's going on out there uh, in, in the stock market. Let's just qu quickly take a look at what that looks like. Again, in the sidebar state, it's possible to get a, a much fuller view uh, than I just have in the step, and I can quickly scroll through and get real-time access to the stocks, get the charts, and get all kinds of data. And we don't have time to go into this in too much detail, but I can give you a quick look there at, at the way this works uh, within our interface. Well, I like seeing lots of greens. <laughs> so do I. So uh, another, just a, a quick thing, you know, I watch a lot of financial news, and what I really hate 